Hello, and welcome to our video on optimizing your shelf life. Have you ever tested your product shelf life and wish it was longer? Are you interested in learning about ways a food or beverage products shelf life can be optimized? You are not alone. It is one of the biggest questions of the food industry. How can I optimize my shelf life without compromising my product's taste and quality? There are a few broad challenges we can tackle, keeping in mind that this list is not exclusive. The options really can be endless and are very product dependent, but the general overview of things you can change are packaging, chemical and physical properties of the product, process, and new ingredients or additives. Although the list is simple, the application of each is not always as straightforward. Perennia's food scientists can help you explore which of these options make sense for your product and what is feasible for your business. Let's look at packaging first. Your marketing team and your customers see your package as a branding opportunity or selling point. As food scientists, we see your package as a barrier to protect your product. Depending on your product type, you will want your package to have different barrier properties. The biggest items of concern are usually light, moisture, and oxygen. All of these can limit your shelf life, and for many products, the better barrier to light, moisture, and oxygen, the better your shelf life. But not always. Some foods actually need oxygen and or moisture to permeate through the package, such as respiring produce and meats. There is also modified atmosphere packaging to optimize a package's headspace. Now, what about those chemical and physical properties? Depending on what type of product you are making, the parameter you will isolate will change. In liquid products, such as a beverage, the most important chemical parameter is pH. Above the pH threshold of 4.6 is where pathogenic organisms such as Clostridium botulinum can grow. If your beverage product is a low acid food, which means a pH of more than 4.6, the first consideration you may make is lowering the pH to help the safety and shelf life of your beverage. To improve the shelf life of dried products, you can optimize an important physical parameter, water activity, which is the amount of free water available for reactions. Shelf-stable, low-acid foods need to have a water activity of below 0.85 to be safe, but you may need to be even lower for shelf stability of some foods. Some ranges of water activity may be better for your product than others. Processing steps are especially important to your product's quality, safety, and shelf life. Are you making a liquid product, such as a beverage or sauce, that can be heat treated and filled hot into the package? Or can the package be heat treated through a water bath or tunnel pasteurizer after being filled? Are there ways you can minimize overall exposure to heat or oxygen? Some products use gas flushing during processing before closing the packages to reduce or exclude oxygen and provide additional shelf life. Last but not least, one of the big impact items we consider when looking to optimize shelf life is the ingredients that currently make up the product and if any ingredients or additives can be included to benefit the shelf life. There is some concern around additives. However, from the food science perspective, they should always have a purpose. Additives such as preservatives can extend a food shelf life and may help reduce food waste. There is always a list of options to consider. For example, two commonly used preservatives are sodium benzoate and potassium sorbate. But did you know that rosemary oil can act as a natural preservative? Another example is using citric acid or lemon juice concentrate to reduce pH. Don't be afraid to start the conversation on ingredients and additives. It could significantly extend your shelf life. For more information, read our food additives fact sheet. This video is just a brief overview of the options you may have to extend your product shelf life. Just a reminder that anytime you change something about your product, such as the packaging, ingredients, process, or other, you do need to retest your shelf life. 
especially when you are making those changes to try and optimize your shelf life. Don't forget the crucial step of proving it has been extended. To learn more about how you can optimize your shelf life, get in touch with Perennia. Our team would love to help. Visit our website to see our fact sheets, videos, and more on a variety of topics such as product development, food certifications, sustainable packaging, and many more.